Hey everybody and welcome to the Daily Scope, 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 Scope for the 31st of October. So today, Venus makes a trine to Uranus. This can bring an exciting and refreshing energy into our relationships, can bring unexpected encounters that can be good and can be negative, sudden attractions and opportunities for personal growth. It can allow us to embrace change, explore new ways of pleasure and break free from our comfort zone and routine. On the spiritual level, it can awaken us to our inner desires, our true desires, and can help us liberate our self-expression. So we People may behave more authentically right now. It can trigger the sense of excitement and us being more spontaneous as well. On the esoteric level, Venus is trying to Uranus revolves around the concept of divine love and higher consciousness. So this can help us make a profound spiritual connection with others and have a deeper understanding of the interconnectedness of all beings and all things. It encourages us to tap into our own unique creative energy and embrace the transformative power of love also it can make us be have moments of epiphany and liberation um, from social expectations and conformity allowing us to you know break free of what other people want for us and to you know actually ask ourselves what we actually want and work towards being who we truly are the best use of this energy is to remain open-minded embrace change even though it may be scary it may not be good for some of you you know things may break up or break down but you know with everything that breaks down you know the compass provides the ground for new seeds to grow if we allow it also you know use this energy to follow our hearts desires fiercely and to move on fiercely and to let go embrace being more spontaneous especially in love and romance and our creative plans and self-expression you know go for adventures with loved ones or with yourself explore unconventional relationships or ideas and experiences that bring you excitement and joy ultimately it's a chance to break free from any stagnant patterns um, of being or limiting beliefs in our relationships which can allow us to open up to a fresh perspective and discover new possibilities it's a time to cultivate a sense of freedom authenticity and a passion in our connections with ourselves and others and by embracing the unexpected we can allow the magic to unfold and surrender to the flow of love and change and trust in the transformative power of Venus is trying to um, Uranus as it can bring about an awakening of your heart and lead towards greater fulfillment in love and personal growth. Content creators can use this energy to talk about um, romance, love, changes, breakdown, heartbreaks, you know, the negative of heartbreaks, so, you know, the scary letting go, being vulnerable to someone new, the prospect of that healing, um, all the reminders that we have of our exes and stuff like that how to deal with it how to successfully vet people what i do personally is just give everybody a piece of string words are so easy to say actions are harder to follow through words are fine to what people wish they would be and their actions is where they're at and this is not a negative thing it's so you can make a judgment on whether you can meet them at that level there's so much love out there and i know it just seems so scary there's all these wars and all this everything and even i sometimes forget that you know there's so much you know faith and ultimately people are good people really most people want to do the right thing and a lot of people that hurt others from my experience do it because they're hurt and this is not an excuse for their behavior but explanation for it so you know you can just become a bit more wiser and learn to sort of like deal with your own psychological wounds and stuff like that so content that help people work through their psychological and emotional and spiritual wounds as well and um, talking about how we can be more innovative in technology and um, um, love within itself you know radical self-acceptance self-love getting married to yourself which is something i kind of did you know but hey ho you know because the saying goes <laughs> if you can't love yourself how can you expect someone else to and um, successfully so yeah and don't get me wrong you know it's ups and downs just like any relationship i'm just going off on a tangent so just you know content that encourages people to embrace their own individuality explore new ways of expressing themselves and loves and 
in themselves and relationships in their creative projects and lives in general. Content that inspires people to get out of their comfort zone, take risks and break free from people's um, society, family, cultural expectations, which can be hard to do, and how to be more, you know, create a more loving relationship with themselves. Also, you can discuss topics um, such as how we can experiment with different art forms, exploring new dating or relationship styles, breaking free from what people tell us that a relationship should look like as well. Also, any content that can help people in chance um, getting more tune with their creativity and intuition and anything that helps them tap into their inner moods and let their imagination run wild. So yeah, content creators themselves can use this energy to take a step out of their own comfort zones and explore new things as well. So in short, Venus is trying to Uranus is a time to embrace change and celebrate your own unique individuality in love and creativity and to just be open to new things and just to become more self-accepting, loving, forgiving and aware. So yeah, that was the Daily Scope, 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 Scope for the 31st of October.